This is not what the journals want. It is not that you cannot use Photoshop. Uh, it is just that you really need to know how to save it into the right file format. Hello, scientists. Welcome to Drawbar Mat, the channel that teaches scientists to draw professional scientific illustrations for your research publications. And in this video, I will talk about why journals don't want you to use Photoshop for your science figures and uh, what you should do if you have to use it. Uh, before I get into it, please uh, give a thumbs up so you can destroy this virus. If you have watched my video about the nature uh, publication guideline for their figures and you will see that they recommend you not to use Photoshop for processing your figures and their language is quite strong. Uh, the reason for uh, this is that they don't want you to submit bitmap images. So what is a bitmap image? So bitmap image is th those image that are uh, composed by pixels. And uh, so the very common file formats that you see like JPEG, TIFF, GIF, PNG, they are all bitmap images. There's a very big chance that you have saved your science figures into these formats. And this is not what the journals want. The reason that they don't want bitmap images is that when you scale these images up, you will lose the resolution of the image. And uh, it will be a big trouble when they are doing post-production of your paper. So uh, they would recommend you not to use uh, the bitmap image file formats. What kind of formats should you use instead? You should use the vector file formats, uh, which are EPS, AI, and PDF files. Uh, they have recommended you to use these uh, type file types. There are some cases that you have to use Photoshop to process your photos. And uh, for example, microscopic images, uh, fluorescence, microscopic images, or the result of your Western blot. The journal guidelines suggest you to embed these bitmap images into a vector based file and then um, you need to make sure these uh, images they have over 300 dpi of their resolution if you save the file into jpeg or tiff then uh, the text will become pixelated that will lose its scalability as a vector element this is the reason why the journals don't want you to use photoshop to process your figures because uh, most likely you will save your files into a, a rasterized bitmap image and that will uh, be uh, not as ideal as vector-based images for their post-production. It is not that you cannot use Photoshop, uh, it is just that you really need to know how to save it into the right file format. And uh, as you can see, uh, my very fine medical illustrations, they are uh, all produced in Photoshop. So. Um, it is that you just really need to pay attention when you are exporting your files that they need to be in the right file format. There are also methods to get around it as I have uh, described in this video, so make sure you follow them when uh, you are processing your scientific figures. If you find this video helpful, please give a thumbs up and uh, also let me know in the comments what kind of uh, questions you have about uh, processing your science figures uh, let me know uh, also through social media or through the contact form on my website and subscribe to Joe Mad for more of the scientific illustration videos and i look forward to seeing you in the future videos